What, I mean, 10 years down the line, how big is the vision here? Are you gonna continue sort of rolling out piecemeal uh, free services? Obviously tax feels like it's pretty separate from credit, I can see how they fit together, but what's the big vision here that unites that? Or sort of what are you driving towards? Well, I think if you look at the sort of the, the great innovations on the internet, you know, data being the common theme is that from a financial services perspective, it's historically been very challenging to service anyone who wasn't at the top 1% from a wealth perspective, right? You can have private bankers at that level. You can have literally someone who sits and watch your finances and tells you when rates change, tell you when a new market entrant comes in that might have you know, better quality or better yield. It's hard to do that for the 99% because of scale. And I think that's where the technology, that's where credit karma comes in. So I oftentimes think about you know, the magic of, of ride share. To me, it's never been the fact that I can get my neighbor to drive me or I drive my neighbor. It's always been about the fact that that magical app was, you know, I could pull out my phone, push a button, car shows up, I get out, I never took out my wallet, and it seemed quite frictionless. And I think if you could do that for auto loans, if you could do that for mortgages, if you could actually move your dollars around to the place that gave you the biggest yield or the place that lowered your interest rate the most, think about how much more efficient financial services would be on a personal level. I mean, I think you, could, you, know, you, you might have to not detract or, or sort of take a step back from what it means from a banking perspective. I think banks will find ways to make money, but from a personal consumer perspective, I think that makes a world of difference. And that's really the platform that we're trying to build with Credit Karma, which is you know, very much one around helping consumers and, and you know, we want to help everyone, but I'd say you know, the 99% are the most, most vulnerable, and that's where technology can really step in. How, how centralized do you think things can become? Well, I mean, there, <laughs> there hasn't, I mean, I think in this space, there could be very much a winner takes all, winner takes most type of opportunity, right? And I think that historically, it's, I think part of the reason why the industry has not been particularly disruptive or innovative is because it's hard to get to scale, right? We have a lot of incumbents that make a lot of money in the space, and the only way to move the needle is to actually have the scale, the sheer number of users to actually facilitate change. So, you know, I think that ultimately this space will be dominated just like most verticals, right? If you think about whether that was search, whether it was about social, whether it was about e-commerce, you know, I think critical mass matters a lot. Economies of scale matter quite a bit. And ultimately that behooves the data aspect of it. Um, when do you IPO? <laughs> uh, geez. Or how uh, long do you remain a private company? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be coy, I actually don't know. I mean, I think that you, an IPO is a beginning, not an end, right? I think that really to be successful in the eyes of investors, in the eyes of your, your shareholders, in the, eyes, in, in the eyes of your employees, there has to be a long-term sustainability about going public. And I think that that's what we're ultimately optimizing for. So it's not like I'm trying to avoid the question, but you really want, hey, do we have great visibility into our, you know, into our revenue streams? Do we know what products that we're expanding into? Uh, you know, what do we think about the market? Those are all interments, and I think they're just a little bit too murky right now. So, um, you know, nothing this year for You're sure. Not planning. All right, great. Well, thanks so much. Thanks everybody for listening.